And today we're going to talk about avatar masks and the animation engine of Unity. And um, particularly, or specifically, I want to talk about non-humanoid avatar masks. So here we have a quick scene, and I'm going to go off to my asset library, which is Filebase uh, from Game Dev HQ. So I'm just going to load this up. And here we've got a nice load of different sort of assets we can have. But I'm interested in this mech. Now I've already downloaded it, so I can just press this handy locate button to show me where it is. I grab the prefab, drag it onto the scene. So if you look in the animator, it comes with some animations already. So I want to make this walk. So let's just make that the default. And let's run the scene. And here we have our mech walking. Cool. Right. Now it's also got a shoot, but I want it to be able to walk and shoot. So let's add a layer. Call this one shooting. And I'm going to go and grab the shoot, put it in here, paste. Okay, and let's put the weight. Oh, let's leave that now. So run. Animated. Can we change it here? Yeah. So there it's shooting. But you see that it stopped running or stopped walking, and that's not what I want. So oh, I need an avatar mask. So let's create ourselves an avatar mask. So normally we'd come in here, or I say normally, when I use it normally, and you would um, say that you want just the top part of the body to be animated in that layer. But this mech isn't a human. And if we look at the FBX, we can see in the rig, that is of type generic and not of type humanoid. So we got a problem. So we come in here, we do have an avatar though. So mech O2 avatar. So we come to our mask, let's just rename this so it can look better. So let's call it um, mech to upper body. So that everybody's bibbing. Okay. So we come to transform and we need to get a skeleton from somewhere. So we come in here and we can see our mech2 avatar from the model. So we grab that and then we can do import skeleton. Now we have to say to the avatar mask, what are we interested in? So clearly we're not interested in the sky here, but we've got to kind of figure out in here what we're interested in so i usually just toggle them all off first and we need to go and look at the mech really so let's go back to the scene um go back to our mech and let's have a look so we've got a uh, upper body uh yeah yeah that looks like it that looks pretty cool. Uh, body, that's the, actually if we just come to the mesh, so just the upper body, everything else we don't want. So back to our avatar, transform. We want the upper body. Now this doesn't child select, so you have to come in here and turn all this on. Now it might be that we need the root expand. We'll see. So um, that's saved. So now we can come back to our animation and we can apply avatar mask. So let's just run the scene again. We should just be walking. Come in here. By the mask doesn't seem to be it's doing the shoot, but it seems to be stuck. So let's come back to the avatar mask. We might need a bit of this actual skeleton. Let's turn that on as well. Let's try that. Aha, 
So he's walking and he's shooting. Turn off. Walking. Shooting and walking. There we have it. How you can use this transform mechanism to grab hold of a skeleton and then you then do a little bit of work to try and figure out what parts of the bone is needed by the animation engine and what parts you actually want to uh, manipulate in your particular layer. So that's it. I hope you found that useful. Thanks.